how to evaluate this radical expression. We see this number is 1997, 1998, 1999, 2000, that consecutive whole numbers. So let's just call this one eight. So let's do the algebra first, because whenever we deal with big numbers, we always want to simplify the algebra. Then, you know, we're plugging back the numbers. So let's call 1998 A, then 1997, that's A minus one. 1999, can you write A plus one? Then this will be A plus two. So now let's observe this. So we want to pair up those two and pair up those two. Because when we pair those up to these two, we multiply, we get an a squared plus eight. Then when we multiply this one with this one, what do we get? We get a squared plus a minus two, right? Because a minus one plus two give us middle term. So we see the plus one eight. The negative one times two give us negative two. Now let's call, we see e squared plus a, let's call it k. Let's call it k. So we have k minus two times k. We got a k squared minus two k plus one. So here we have plus one. Wow, perfect square. We can factor as a k minus one squared, then square root, right? Because we have this square root index too. All that gives us k minus one. Well, what's k? k is a squared plus eight, right? So we have a squared. So let's change k. Let's change k to be, so we have k minus one, k equals a squared plus a minus one. Okay, so now a equals 1998. Right, let's, okay, let's move up a little bit. So remember a equals 1998. So we just have to substitute this. We have 1998 squared plus 1998 minus one. And <clears throat> if we want, we use we can use algebra to calculate it, or otherwise we can do this. This just give us 1997. Now we just have to calculate 1998 squared. If we don't want to use calculator, right? We can write this as 2000 minus two squared. We apply a perfect square formula. So we get 2,000 squared minus two times 2,000 times two, then plus four. Okay. So first time give us four followed by six zeros. That's four meaning. Then minus this, two times two times two, eight, 8,000. Then add back four. Right. But then, so what do we get from this number? So subtract 8,000. Subtract 8,000 from here. We get 3991 or 2. So, right? Because add back 8,000, we get a full meaning back. Then plus, plus is 4, plus is 1994. Seven, so we get two thousand one and plus two thousand one. So what do we get? We get three nine nine four zero zero one. Right. So that's it. That's that's how we calculated this kind of expressions without using a calculator by using algebra. Right. Reduce the algebra. Then. Right. Back back in. So this number is three million nine hundred ninety four thousand and one.